And now we are hitting up a division I don't necess- I don't nearly hit up enough, and that is the tag team titles. I know Aikam and Ray's. I mean, sorry, not not the authors of Pain. Eric and Ivar are the tag team champions on Raw, and I mean, frankly, it's just at this point I don't really know what to do with the rankings. But also, it's the idea that there's other content coming with the rankings. And we're a little bit ahead, so we just need to let the backlog catch up. And, well, basically, I'm putting out this content as a way to alleviate the pressure of backlogged content. Because it's something that I could put up sooner ahead of the backlogged content. Either way, the Dirty Dogs are stepping up against the New Day. I do wonder in WWE 2K23 if... Bobby Roode is going to be in the game, considering he spent most of the year on the shelf. Or will he be in the game because he's still under contract? I, I I honestly don't know. I would love to see Bobby Roode in the game because there's only going to be so many more games that Bobby Roode is going to be a part of. Not to say that he's going to not be in WWE anymore anytime soon. It's more that I think he will be retiring soon, you'd figure. Or at some point he'll be retiring. Big splash missed. Xavier's fighting out of the corner of the heels. Xavier is fighting out of the corner of the heels. And is now coming back. It's sort of like what we saw at the end of the New Day's title victory. When Kofi had to fight on his own because Xavier was down on the floor. After being, after being beaten down by the opponents. It would help if I remembered who the New Day defeated the tag titles. Defeated for the tag titles, which I don't necessarily remember, so I'm not going to guess. But either way, it's still too early for it. I mean, Kofi smart with a high elevation maneuver because I high, the higher the elevation, in some cases, the more it takes out of your opponent, but also the more it takes out of you. So it was smart of Kofi to do that, but also he's got to watch it because, again, the more it takes out of your opponent... It, it's not a one-way street. It takes stuff out of you, too. So we got to see what happens on that front. But a big splash, and this time, Xavier connects when Dolph missed. I don't know why Xavier didn't go for the cover right off the big splash, because when you land on a big splash, what, I mean, jump, jump, off, uh, jump off the top rope and land on somebody and tell me it doesn't knock the wind out of you or them. You know what I mean? Just jump, jump, down, jump down on somebody and tell me that doesn't knock the wind out of them. And that's why it should be where, I don't know, you pin them right off rip because it takes them a second to get their wind back. So not only do they have to get their wind back, but also they got to think to kick out. So it's sort of like, you know, it's sort of like you're trying to catch them off guard by pinning them when they're trying to get their wind back. Either way, textbook. Elbow strike down and a pin, an attempted pinfall on Kofi from Bobby Roode. If there's anybody that knows text, textbook technical stuff, it is the glorious one, Bobby Roode. But also the amount of times over the years that we've seen Dolph Ziggler and Kofi Kingston in the same ring together, competing for the tag team titles or in this or competing for singles titles or in this case competing for the tag team titles. It is so many times that I've lost track, and I think that there's only one other person that may have more time in the ring with Dolph Ziggler, and that is The Miz. But just think about how many times Dolph and Kofi have been in the ring together over the years. I think it's enough that you probably lost track because, well, they've been in the ring together a lot over the years, both men being in WWE. Over the last 10 years, non-stop, or almost 15, I would say. Because, I mean, technically, Dolph Ziggler debuted in 2006 or 2005 with the Spirit Squad, and then reappeared in 2006 with the Spirit... Uh, sorry. Reappeared in 2005 as Curran White's assistant, or caddy, and then reappeared in 2006 as a member of the Spirit Squad. And then reappeared again in 2009 as Dolph Ziggler. 
So he's been Dolph Ziggler for 11 years, 12 years. Kofi debuted with ECW, so I'm going to put it like 2007, 2008. I'm going to put his debut at like 2007, 2008. And he's been here under the same name since then. So I'd probably put Kofi here a year earlier. But at the same time, Kofi's been Kofi. Dolph's been here since 2005. In various under various various different names, so I think it is an accomplishment for both men. But also, you got to figure it's a testament to Kofi Kingston, and also a testament to Dolph Ziggler. But still, I mean, I was going to say it's a testament to Dolph Ziggler, but it's also a testament to Kofi Kingston. To be fair, I wonder what's going on on the floor. To be honest with you. Who's stunned? Kicked out. Kofi stunned. Running forearm smash by Dolph Ziggler. What the heck is Kofi doing in the ring? Either the glorious DDT. The glorious DDT. Dolph is in. Kofi's in. Kofi breaks up the pinfall. Kofi breaks up the pinfall. And Xavier is in desperate need of a cover. I mean a a tag. Kofi needs to get to the outside because Xavier should be in desperate need of a tag. But a big leg drop again. Takes down Bobby Roode. But Bobby Roode kicks out before the count of one, even after Dolph Ziggler gets in the ring. I do remember now that there was a follow-up in a tag team match. I believe it was Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai in a tag team match against either the former tag champions or the current tag champions. I can't remember, but maybe I should look up the last match because I, from what I do remember, that match needed a follow-up. Bobby Roode is busted open, as you can see on the bridge of his nose. Bobby Roode is, in fact, busted open. But now Kofi Kingston is in the ring. I didn't even comment on the fact that Kofi got the tag. I mean, Xavier got the tag. Well, actually, either one's, either one, either way of phrasing it is true. Kofi tags Xavier, or Xavier tags Kofi, so either way, it's true. Peels him out of the corner. He could have went for a cover there, but Kofi decides to cover him after the fact. Again, I don't know why, because when you knock the wind into your opponent, it's smarter to go immediately for the cover, as opposed to building up to it, like Kofi did. Kofi. I don't know if Kofi was trying for the midnight hour there, but either way, Bobby Roode avoided it. And avoided whatever Bobby Roode was trying for there. Big lariat from Kofi. Vintage Kofi Kingston with that jumping lariat. You know what's probably coming next. Ah, oh, knee drop. I thought it was going to be the boom drop, but it was the knee drop instead. Trouble in paradise. Trouble in paradise. And Dolph Ziggler gets in just in the nick of time to help his tag team partner. Edge O'Matic takes down Dolph Ziggler. And the guy who was just on the floor and got back up on the corner is now back on the floor and resting, knocked unconscious by, Do by Kofi Kingston. I honestly don't know why Kofi, using game logic, I don't know why Kofi would tag out to, to Xavier because Kofi has a signature move. So if I was Kofi, I would have stayed in the ring. He misses the dropkick, brushes off Xavier. Xavier gets rolled up by uh, by Robert. Bobby Roode gets hit with the rope break. Swinging neck breaker takes down by Xavier. And he sets up Xavier. Glorious DDT on the opposite side of the ring. It's going to take a while for Kofi to get here. And Kofi doesn't need to. Xavier finds it within him to kick out. Somehow, some way, Xavier Woods kicked out. Beautifully executed dropkick by Bobby Roode. Takes down Xavier. 
And if I was Bobby Roode, I would tag out to my tag team partner. And that's exactly what he does, tagging out to Dolph Ziggler, creating space between him and his part him and his opponent to allow for the tag. And now Dolph is waiting around in the ring for Xavier to get back in. I mean, I think reality of the situation is it was a nice attempt to do the rankings, but I just think I don't I don't know that I do this type of thing enough. You know, recording to keep track of the editing. I mean, to keep track of the rankings. I think reality of the situation is what I wanted was a reason to use the website. Dolph is now giving him a taste of their own medicine with a beautifully executed Shawn Michaels-esque elbow off the top rope. Bubba. Bobby Roode just broke up the pin. Bobby Roode just broke up the pin. Xavier blocks the zigzag and whacks him. He tries for a knee, but I... I honestly, I don't... Bobby Roode just broke up the pin. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say, but either way, we have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. It is the Dirty Dogs. The Dirty Dogs are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I think there may have been a little bit of confusion there with Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode. I think Bobby Roode, with the amount of time he spent in the ring, may have been a little confused and mistook his tag team partner. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Or maybe he just wanted his tag team partner to do his, to do the, uh, try his finisher and finish the match that way. But either way, I don't understand what we just saw. But, either, but what I do know is the Dirty Dogs are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.